or gout is due to sodium urate crystals that form in and around joints. So it's a crystal deposition disease. And that only happens when your urate levels are maintained chronically above a certain critical saturation point that then crystal formation is possible. And if that happens, you can slowly every day make some new crystals. And this goes on for many years without you knowing it until you have a lot of crystals in a lot of joints. And then some of them, because the concentration's high, may then spill over into the joint and trigger an acute attack of vicious joint inflammation. And that's the way you then normally present when given the diagnosis. An attack normally only involves particularly small joints, a big toe, for example, and it gets better on its own within a week or two back to normal. The idea of ongoing continuous crystal deposits that can potentially damage your joints, because these crystals clump together and form lumps that cause pressure damage on your cartilage and bone, and damage your joints and then can cause daily pain when you're using your joints. That perception often is just not there at all. People instantly associate, normally instantly associate, getting gout with having too much alcohol excess and eating rich foods too much. So it's almost bought it on yourself. So it's almost your fault. So the idea that it's not arthritis, that it comes and goes, and it's been brought on by behaving badly, um, all makes it thought to be not a very important condition. We've got urate lowering therapy that get rid of the crystals. And you can then, again, cure it. It may require lifelong drug treatment to keep the crystals away, but basically you've got rid of the crystals that define having the disease. Not many people get urate lowering therapy. Less than half of people who ever get it, explained to them or ever offered it. And when they are given it, it's often given at too low a dose, uh, it's not up titrated against the serum urate level to make sure that the individual is getting the dose that they need as an individual to hit the target to bring the urate level below saturation. Because it's treatable but it's not being treated, we wanted to show what happens if you apply recommended best practice. This it was a study that involved over 500 people who were randomised, they were all having ongoing gout, they'd all had at least one attack in the past year, and they were randomised to have either a nurse who had been trained about gout and recommended best practice. A nurse for two years look after their gout, or they were randomised to stay with their usual care, which was their GP-led care. At the end of two years, the adherence was brilliant, um, and more than 9 out of 10, 95% of people had hit the right blood level and had had that maintained normally for over a year at least. And their frequency of attacks of gout in the second year was much less than in usual care. And the quality of life in the nurse group was much better than the GP, usual care group. So the key findings of that study were firstly, it emphasized the importance of full patient information, discussing illness perceptions and then engaging the patient in this shared decision-making. That is recommended best practice. And once they knew about the causes of gout, its possible consequences, its associations, and the available treatment options, they all elected to go for it and adhered very well to your eight nine therapy. Um, it also shows the importance of treating to target, individualizing the drug treatment. We're now going into practices who are interested to train their practice nurses who are already there, who've got a mixed agenda every week, to see if we can readily train them at a low cost to take on another chronic condition on top of the other ones they're already dealing with. It's very sensible to link it with cardiovascular risk assessment, which is done often on a yearly basis, adding in a quick look at their gout and inquire about gout and also including their urate level testing would be such a simple quick thing to do but it may help lots of people.